Yeah. Yeah. Zach, tell me a little bit about what you're doing, man. About that, well, we're trying fire. to make a movie for the Chicago Horror Film um, Festival. A friend of mine. And a little something for Spring Show. With some girls, and they... I'm sure going right now, getting the killer all together here with this. Yeah, just, just doing little parts, yeah, little little awesome. makeup, specs, you know. Oh yeah, nothing real fancy, but just yeah, something that we can nice and... free up, throw together each week. Something simple, but looks good. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> we're just trying hard, man. Did you show God? Love horror. No. Loved it since I was a baby. Oh, he's probably. He's and I really crazy. think that. My and life has really kind of came to this yeah. point yeah. that yeah. it's do yeah. it yeah. or don't do it. I decided to do it, so and I'll do it the day I die. Get, like, a lot oh, of yeah. That's what's up, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I've There's always, I've always thought it. about it growing up. There's something that Facebook was just like, that one, like if you watch that video, I don't know, like, watching Night of Living Dead when I was like three years so, old, you so know, much like much that kind of thing, just loving it. And ever since then, I was that kid that wasn't asking, like, hey. Uh, that, is that monster real? I was that kid that was sitting there saying, how in the hell did they make him look like that? <laughs> so, like, I was, like, obsessed with Savini and all these greats, and I'm obsessed with Walking Dead just because the, they're amazing. I mean, that's where I want to be. I want That's my goal is to become recognized, I guess. Tell me a little bit about this, man. What you got going on here? We got Black Man going on a rampage. <laughs> well, um, pretty much. How did you come up with it? How did you come up with this? Uh, well, the basic character and the flashbacks mainly are from my dreams. Um, I get quite a bit of horrifying dreams that I use to my advantage. And uh, so, Courtney, sorry, buddy, but you're in my dreams. Um, <laughs> I I was naked. <laughs> Yeah, there was glitter everywhere too. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, that's basically where it came from. And then Zach jumped in and helped me uh, get all the present day shots, all the dialogue and everything in order. And we went from there. We were in an old mansion, right? Yeah, it was built in 1858. The original owner of it was Abraham Lincoln's physician. Wow. Yeah. I didn't know that. It's a nice house. His actual physician? Yes. Wow. Yeah, and he was, uh, he was also a Freemason. So, damn Illuminati. Damn Illuminati. Everywhere you go. That's wow. Right. <laughs> so, he, he was supposedly a big deal when he was around. And it was used to be connected to Lincoln's neighborhood. But throughout the years, you know, development and businesses and such not it's no longer there but they're fixing her up we're gonna make her really really pretty <laughs> this way it doesn't get tore down or anything like that houses like that should be lived and maintained forever so i heard it was actually um like some ghosts in here for real yeah like on the first week uh first time we were shooting here we got like a, a, a apparition a ghost in this corner over here it was clear as day um, it was a face and we've had a few other little counters um, we have a lady that came with her camera and she, every time she went down to the basement it would stop working as soon as she came upstairs it started working again wow um, just weird vibes you know your hair stand up that kind of thing girls getting touched Probably the same motherfucker that took them stairs from under me, huh? Uh, exactly. Good <laughs> up, man. Like, fuck you doing in my house? Oh, my house, dude. Where I live right now, there's a ghost that always mess with me. He likes to come up around five o'clock, six o'clock in the morning and wake me up by shaking the crap out of my bed. And last night we were over there, um, and when I was walking by, all my DVDs came crashing down, being like it was thrown, and I got pretty upset with it. I was cursing. You know, like, I believe in afterlife, you know, and it's just a matter of they're trying to be seen, even though we can't be seen. Some people can see them. I can't, but I know they're there. You can sense them. That's crazy. You know, they're there. A little there. bit of how you, how you got onto this, this project. How I got on this project? Uh, uh, some friends of mine were involved with it, and uh, were telling me about it. It sounded like something I was interested in 
They put me in contact with uh, Zach and Wayne. I talked to them, told them what I could bring to the project, and uh, man, they left me alone since. Toxic photography, <laughs> right? Yep. yep. Yeah, look him up. Yep. Great photographer, video man, all that. All kinds of goodies. All kinds of goodies. Hey, I'm looking forward to working with you real soon. Oh, yeah. Same here. I think we could do some. Uh, we should do some big things. I think so. Definitely. 2013. Nope. There we go. Behind the scenes, poor house. This is my man's Devin. Devin. Dan. Dan. Oslan in the building. Oslan Films. We got toxic uh, photography in the building, shooting at all of this. Zach, you know what I'm saying, Wayne, on the makeup, behind all of this. Man, this mansion is crazy. This is how they doing it, doing it big, you know what I'm saying. They're going to take this to another level, horror movies. We at you.